Happy Friday, Calvary. I'm Pastor Pete with your word for the day. If you are joining us on the weekends at Calvary, you've heard Pastor Chad talk about the first three Beatitudes that lead us to the good life. In Matthew 5, Jesus teaches us that those who are poor in spirit, those who mourn and are weak are the ones who are blessed. God promises to bless their life. Those who have these humble attributes are promised the kingdom of heaven, they're promised comfort, they're promised to inherit the earth. And today's Psalm in chapter 25, uh, it teaches us many of the same themes that Jesus brought up in Matthew 5. So let's take a look at a few of these verses. I think it will uh, show you the connection. Verses four and five say, make me to know your ways, O Lord, teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. I wait all day long for you. This is the prayer of someone who is poor in spirit. When we pray words like this, we are acknowledging our need for God to save us, to lead us, and to teach us. With these words, we can humbly acknowledge God, the provider, who can fill our poor spirits. Take a look at verse seven. It says, remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions. According to your steadfast love, remember me for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. This prayer reminds me of mourning over my sin. Foolish, youthful failures and sins have caused me so much sorrow. So remembering them brings shame and it brings sadness. But this prayer expresses that sadness in a really great way. And it provides comfort that God will bring through his gracious love and goodness. And the final verse I wanna kind of bring to your attention here is verse nine. And it says, he leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his ways. Here God reminds us that the meekness, that meekness isn't weakness. In fact, when we are humble, God is going to show us what is the correct way to live? And when we know the correct way to live, we can be bold and move forward. Humility is the proper attitude so we can live the good life. You can read the rest of Psalm 29. And as you do, notice all the blessings that God gives to humble people. God loves it when we turn from our sin. He loves it when we acknowledge that he is the one who blesses and who comforts and who saves. He truly provides us with the good life. And I hope you'll join us this weekend at one of our campuses as we continue the Good Life series. Now, if this video has encouraged you, would you like it, share it, or leave a comment below? And have a great weekend, Calvary.